use memo is nothing but the name itself it going to return the memorized value so what is mean the memorized value so this declaration similar to use of like uh, sorry use state so instead of setting a value uh, instead of setting an initial value we need to tell uh, which function i'm going to setting as a value for the use memo so that's the thing instead of a value we need to setting a function and after that we are sending the dependency array or we we need to pass a dependency array because we are going to use a function so each function have its own dependencies may or may not be in some time most of the times a function needs some dependency for example we are going to use multiple variables inside the function those function is not ideal ideal uh, variables the those variables need some value that value came from the out of the function so those kind of uh, the dependencies we need to pass inside the dependency array like how we are passing the dependency array in the use effect right that will jump into the code so as usual in the source directory i create a session 6 and inside the session 6 uh memo memo.js so okay then as usual creating create functional component changing the value memo component so okay copy it replace with address should have state replace with memo component and remove this and import the memo save it now start the project so as usual so it will run it takes some time i am in the center i will explain you what is uh, this memo and how to do that so when we are going to start the project uh, start using the hooks we need to import the hooks from the um, react so here you can see uh, if you are using source studio code as well as in the uh, react extension you need to press control space bar then it will show uh, the uh, suggestions so what are the things available what are the different what are the export things available uh, in the particular library right so it will show a lot of things so i'm going to start typing use so then you can see plenty of uh, hooks available right uh, as, as i said use callback use context debug value deferred use of fact there are multiple things right? so here we are going to see use memo right so import that and after the define need you can go to this detailed directory and you can see so as i as i told use memo requires a function and after that it needs the dependencies so you can uh, more deeply you can see uh, what is the dependency list it taking random array so random array is nothing but we can pass any kind of variables like a number a string or date or anything we can send as a dependencies so like this you need to check the libraries if you are using any third party libraries in future at that time definitely get some problem with the uh, with the package then you need to go to the particular package definition and how you need to see Uh, how it actually written and why it written the for, uh, error statements and why it run successfully so like that you need to understand the variables and libraries so save it and go back so here we see in the memo component so it uh, it rendered in the browser and after that we are importing the use memo and after that as i told uh, for an example uh, if we are going to use some memo uh, for updating a counter uh, again so as usual uh going to create a variable called count and set count so whenever i typing small small things so like uh, uh, i keep on using counter and some forms right so because it just it very easy to explain and uh, you can easily understand the things but in the real world scenario you are not using count for all all times you need to you know to think yourself in your end so if it is a big application then you need to write multiple things but the idea is you are going to use a state you are going to disturbing the state through some other actions so that what that's what you need to understand from these codes so here use state and uh, the define value is zero then if you use use state then obviously you need to use you need to import the use state so what will happen so here you need to define a function so const uh, update count and inside that so the definition of that you need to set count and count right so whenever you clicking the one button at that time it will keep on counting so after that uh, i putting console so how many times this calling like that i am going to check so as i told uh, use memo help us to improve the performance and it return the value so uh, for that i am going to uh, i am going to show that which scenario you need to use use memo so uh, currently we are not use memo here we just using the normal function and we are going to update the counters So after that, what I do, I'm going to use dummy. I'm say dummy 
fragment then using on click calling update count right so when you click it will go to the definition right so what we need to do so whenever we click the set count then we need to increase it like that so save it and after that uh what i what i going to do yep so first save it and go back to uh increase save it and go back go to the inspect and it will go refreshing the page so there is uh this update count is not called no times so when we click on increase it keep on updating uh right so currently we have only one click event so it, it keep on updating with the same function right uh, for example, uh, I'm going to use another one button. This is help us to uh, run the alert, just the alert, alert. So save it, go back. So we have two buttons, uh, remove things, refresh the page. So clicking increase and keep on updating here seven times and clicking the alert, it running the alert and go back, clicking increase, it keep on increase, right? So uh, here, Whenever we are uh, updating the count, at that time, uh, it keep on updating the function. But, so this is a straightforward thing, right? So for example, uh, let's see, if it is a big function, uh, for example, it's just a click event. So whenever you are clicking the count, at that time, this function is disturbing. We need to create out of the function. Export constant. So title component and uh, inside that it requires some variable and it going to return a component so instead of this we need to return one variable h1 variable because it's a component right component should be written up with the parent instead of written a single value so instead of single quotes so right so we have the component uh, inside that we have the console log and after that inside the memo share memo memo component we are going to use a different uh, we are going to use a title component um, as a written written inside the written statement we need to we need to use whenever the title update at that time should be the title component variable should reflect in the page and go back here refresh so it's showing here uh, with the empty title right so uh, still we are not using anywhere set title uh, for that I am going to use the another section like on input, input, input type, equal to text. So whenever it changed, it should update set title. So even dot forget dot value. And we need to get even from the call right so okay okay so we are updating the title so whenever uh, we are going to change some value there and after that it will reflect immediately here so it should happen only the input change it never happened only the increase change right so save it and here if you want you can write the condition here like uh, if the title is there then title component can render else no so save it go back you can see uh, here if we click increase it never updating a title component so it will refresh so initially a title component is rendered but because uh, that's the initial rendering uh, with the help of uh, a normal uh, life cycle of this so click on increase it never disturbing the title component it keep on updating the update uh, the uh, this update count it will keep on updating here whatever we put the console here and after that so whenever we are typing here, it should reflect only the title component. It never disturbing the other components. So this idea. So from this memo, what we are understanding is, so uh, if you write without this memo uh, function, it keep on rendering whatever the whatever the things available uh, inside the return statement. That's the thing. So we are we need to uh, stop the process. That will help us to improve the performance. So that's the thing.